you clicked on this video, meaning that you are either A, still a teenager, B, still in school, or both, and want to build muscle. That's what I'm going to be helping you with today, one way or another. Now, this video is about my personal diet I've adopted under my specific circumstances, that being unemployed and still in school. If my personal diet doesn't cater towards your specific situation, I've got a whole calisthenics guide, including diet, right here. But don't click off yet, since this rundown still has some pretty valuable stuff, so let's get straight into it. Now, as a general rundown of my diet, and I'm talking numbers, I've never actually counted daily macros or calories. However, I am thinking about doing so very soon. Anyway, this doesn't actually matter since I am a 5'6", 155 pound athlete, floating at around 15 to 13% body fat year long, aiming for high protein, with foods at a moderate calorie density throughout three large meals and a few snacks here and there. Since I don't track calories, I usually end up preventing overeating through just self-control and I try to stay growing through a slight calorie surplus, just eating until I am full, avoiding hunger throughout the day except when it's after cardio or after training. Even though I don't track daily calories or macros, I will read food labels. Food labels are just great in terms of letting me know how much I'm eating and it helps with that self-control. Now before I get into the things I do consume, I'm going to go over the things that I don't consume. That being mostly alcohol or drugs. These are just nothing but negative towards your health and even worse for your training. And to be honest, I'm underage anyways. Things I try to stay away from would be overly processed foods and junk foods and excessive sugar. But we will go over cheat foods and cheat meals later on in the video. Now for the things I do eat, my main protein sources would include eggs, chicken, lean beef, pork, tuna, Greek yogurt, and peanut butter, but you'll also see milk, cheese, and protein supplements elsewhere in my diet. In general, I eat a lot of fruits, vegetables, oatmeal, and pastas, and try to drink a lot of water. Now for pre-workout meals, my specific circumstance doesn't require pre-workout meals. However, sometimes I will take a natural caffeine source like coffee, or if I'm feeling hungry before my workout, I will eat a small snack consisting of carbs and natural sugars like fruit. Working out hungry kills my gains and kills my performance. Now for post-workout, this usually ends up being my dinner time as I am still in school. Now for the part you've all been waiting for, my meals. For breakfast, I don't eat school breakfast, that would be gain suicide. I do cook my breakfast before I head to school. That usually consists consisting of eggs and or oatmeal, um, per pretty much what I feel like that day or what's available. And when it is available, I'll have a protein shake in the morning before I head to the bus lunchtime. This is when things start to get hairy. Now, I do eat school lunch, so I will usually just try to aim for the highest protein option that they have, that usually being the chicken or the beef sandwiches that they serve. I avoid overeating through self-control portions and try to pick the lower calorie option if it is available. Now, for lunch, I cook at home, that being two days of the week on the weekend, usually consisting of tuna since it is cheap, reliable, easy to make. I can make sandwiches, I can make pastas, and sometimes I'll throw in a little chicken in there. Now for dinner time. This is almost always with the family, me cooking about 60% of the time. 
it's not always going to be the best, but we do always include a protein source like chicken, lean beef, and pork, and almost always a vegetable side and another side consisting of carbs like pasta, potatoes, or rice. I tried not to eat cheat meals as it is a bit excessive if you already enjoy the healthy diet that you are on in the first place. There's no reason to go out of your way to eat an unhealthy meal. So I just stick to cheat snacks. I won't eat anything absurdly unhealthy like cake or pie except occasionally on a holiday or two. But I do limit unnecessary sugars like candy, but I will not fully exclude them since I still want to live. Now in terms of eating with your family, I do understand that some people may have it worse than I do. I am unemployed so I only control about 70% of my diet and I don't fully control all of the food that's in my house either. And if you're anywhere near my position, I'm sure you understand too. So my best suggestion for you is to simply let them know your goals, let them know what you need for your goals, and you don't even know, they might even support you or even join you on your quest for a healthier diet. And if not, you're screwed. I'm just kidding, you just gotta deal with what you have and make the most out of that like I have. Personally, my family does support me. They help me get me my eggs and Greek, Greek yo yogurt and even tuna more catered towards my diet personally. So shout out to them. And there you have it. My personal diet I've been on giving me steady progress in, in my movements and lifts and it's not even that complicated. However, if you're just starting out, everything can look complicated in their own way, so that's why I made a beginner calisthenics guide, training, diet and all, in this video right here. See you next time.